Hi, I'm Paul. The first batch of COVID-19 antigen self-test kits have arrived here in the market in Zhongshan, and they are available for purchase for both the citizens and expatriates. I've come to a local drugstore to show you how to use these today with the help of the local pharmacist. So we'll grab one box of test kits and of course, uh, some nasal swabs. Ah, thank you. Okay, so obviously the first thing we need to do is make sure our hands are clean. So we'll go ahead and scrub our hands nice and clean here. <laughs> okay, next step is to take one of the vials out of the bag. Okay. You can place it in this little hole right here. And then we're going to peel the seal off the vial. carefully so you don't spill the solution and then place it there ready for the testing. Next we will take our nasal swab and when you take the nasal swab be sure to not touch the sampling end. You only want to touch this end right here so you don't contaminate the sample. Okay. All right. So once the Swab is out, then you're going to place it into your nose, approximately one to one and a half centimeters up into the nasal cavity. It can be a little uncomfortable, but you want to get it up in there really good. Yeah. And then swirl it around. Ooh. <laughs> it definitely tickles. <laughs> swirl it around really good. And you want to do both sides. Once that's done, you're going to immediately place the sample into the solution all the way to the bottom. And you're going to swirl it around. You're going to raise it out of the solution a little bit and just squeeze to get all of the juice <laughs> out of the sample. Okay, good. And then close the vial. Next, we're going to take the, the sampling plate. Huh? <laughs> All right, so now we have the sampling plate here, and we're going to actually place the sample right in there into this, about three to four drops. So we'll put that right down there. Three to four drops. Okay. And we let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes. You want it to be no less than 15 minutes, but no more than 20 minutes because you don't want a, a false uh, uh, result. So uh, we let it sit and then we will see how the results come out for me. Okay, so I've waited the required amount of time and uh, how to read the results. So you have a C and the T. Now, if you have a red or purple line under the C, but not under the T, you test negative. If you test positive, you will see a red or purple line in both the C and the T. Obviously, I just have the one line here under the C, which of course means I am negative. Now, keep note that if you do not see any red or purple line under the C, that means that the test is invalid and then you'll have to test again. But obviously, I am good to go. Now, once you finish the test and you're negative, you can simply just place all of the used equipment into a plastic bag like this, seal it, and discard it in general waste. Of course, if you test positive, you're going to want to contact a professional medical institution immediately. And be sure, be sure to bring all of the equipment that you use so that it can be treated properly and discarded as medical waste. At present, the COVID-19 antigen self-test kits are available for purchase both online and offline at local pharmacies. But please note that these results are for reference only and do not replace professional nucleic acid testing. And here I want to remind all of our citizens and expatriates to wash your hands, wear a mask, and avoid large gatherings. It is all of our responsibilities to stay healthy and to help prevent the spread of the epidemic.